Hello everyone! Welcome to English for Kids channel! Let me introduce myself. I'm Kak Yaris. I'm Kak Linda. I'm Aneta. Okay, so our goals are to educate, motivate, and enjoyable for you guys. Welcome back to Kids Podcast Channels with me Kak Yaris and with me Kak Neta. Okay, so today we have a new guest stars and can you introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi, my name is Ane. I was born and live in Jakarta. My hobbies are drawing, swimming, and reading. The reason why I like my hobbies are because it was so fun. Wow. Okay, it's really it's good. Right? I love the pronunciation by yes. the way. Uh, so guys, I already uh, make several questions, uh, and then Anin will be answer those questions. So, so stay tuned on Kids Podcast channels. Okay, thank you, Kaliyani. Okay. Well, kids, I already prepared several questions, and Anin will be answer those questions. Okay, Kaliyani, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, by the way, Anin, don't don't have to worry about uh, Kaliyari's question because I will help you to answer those questions. Okay, so Just let's... Just take it easy, right? Yeah, uh, Thank you, Kaneta. Okay, so let's move to the first questions. <laughs> okay, the first questions. What springs your mind when you hear the word English? Um, the second language that I always use in my life. Okay. Mm-hmm. International language, just that. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. It's it's really good, right? Because uh, English is universal, yep. right? Yep. Okay, so English and then English is our second language. And for me, mm-hmm. uh, if we can use our English or we can improve our skill in English, mm-hmm. we can also uh, tell our culture mm-hmm. for uh, to foreigner to yeah. stranger yes. with easy and fluently. Yeah. We can bring yeah. our culture. I'm really with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm okay. with you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so let's move to the second questions. Okay, question is, how could you speak in English? I don't really remember, but um, it started when I was in childhood. I studied English in my school, and then I just find this subject is really interesting. Okay, so English is really interesting to you. Yeah, interesting. And then my mother decided to take me into English course. Since I study in English course, I English skill was getting better. Okay, it's really cool. It's great. And then I found it, and then I just discovered that English is actually actually one of my highest skills. Okay, so <laughs> English is the one of your highest skills. Yes. Okay. So guys, I didn't say that English is really interesting for her, and uh, her skill in English uh, to be better because uh, her mother uh, take her to English course. Okay, by the way. Uh, it's really cool, right? Because yeah, it's really still great. Kids and already uh, have a skill of yes. Speaking. Nowadays, uh, I feel comfortable with study just at home mm-hmm. with online platform, and then uh, because I I can do many things except uh, go to the college, and then I can do another things like without. Uh, go to the college. Okay, so do I because uh, I'm really bored of uh, yeah. going to college, so it's really, really comfortable uh, staying here. Okay, so I mean, besides your mom took you to English course, what is the best way or what uh, what are the best way for introducing our skill in English? Oh, actually, um, it's really simple. Mm-hmm. First, you gotta have a motivation. Okay. Second, you can just um, started from a simple thing like yeah, watching right. the English movie, okay. listening to English music, yeah. and also seeing uh, English movie in the internet is really helping you. Okay. okay, that's really great. Really great. Okay, yeah. so guys, I didn't say that 
uh, there are many best way for increasing our spending risk, such as motivation, right? Uh, second is uh, watching movies in English or listening to music in English, right? Okay, it's really great. Uh, also, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let's move uh, to the four equations. I want to know about your opinion about this pandemic era because uh, there are so many uh, spread of coronavirus right, all over the world. So I want to ask you, how would you like to be learning right now? Uh, actually, in this pandemic era, I don't too much like studying. Like, I kind of boring and doesn't have any motivation at all. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'm watching some study videos. Okay, so it, uh, it makes you to increase your uh, skill in English, right? Yeah. To increase your uh, study all over subjects, right? Okay, yeah. so uh, how about you, Kamika? Uh, pandemic for me. Mm -hmm. Pandemic for me. It's really uh, pandemic nowadays mm -hmm. have a lot of disadvantages. Oh, okay. Because all of uh, people can also get the impact, okay. bad impact. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It could be for uh, from economy. Yes. It could be for the our parents education. Income. Our parents' income. Yeah, yes, of course. And then our education. It's also. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's bad. I mean, many students that feel lazy to study in this pandemic. But we have to uh, keep spirits up yeah. of studying, yeah. right? So yeah. Even though, I agree. Uh, even though there are so many this part of coronavirus, yeah. we have to keep, keep spirits up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So let's move to the next questions. Okay. I mean, so, which subjects do you think you are going to be useful for your future? Um, basically, all subjects are really important for your okay. future. But if you ask me, what is the most useful subjects for your future? It actually depends on your future jobs. Okay. Like, if you want to be a doctor, then science and math are really useful for your future. Okay, guys. Did you know that? I didn't say that all over the subjects are very useful for our futures, but it depends yeah. on our job, right? If you okay. if you want to be a doctor, you can take science or math, and if you want to be an economic or businessman, you can take a, a social social yeah. right? Yeah. Or, yeah, something like that. Because okay. okay. everyone has their own talent. Yes, yeah. of course, everyone of course. has their own talent. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree? I really agree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's move to the last questions for your name. Okay, uh, what motivates you, young pe young people? So, what is motivates young people to learn and develop their skills? Uh, are you really confused? Um, maybe <laughs> Don't be confused. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, it's kind of dependent on them. Okay. Like, if they wanna learn English, then okay. But if they don't wanna learn English, then okay. Okay, so it can be concluded that yeah, it yeah. depends on ourselves. Yeah. yeah. If we, uh, if uh, English or math or science and anything is really motivates yourself, it's it's really to be okay, right? Okay. And it's really uh, uh, useful and good impact for ourselves. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay. How about you, Kaneda? Well, um, this last question. What is your answer? What is your opinion? Yeah. My opinion or. Uh, motivates young people. Motivates young people. Yeah, to learn and develop their skills. Uh, for me, to develop their skills, of course, they have to find their own. Uh, where's the comfortable of their own? Okay. They have to find that part. Okay. Of course, the first, and because when you didn't find com uh, the comfortable part, mm -hmm. you can you cannot uh, continue. The, the next journey of your life or okay, the next journey of your uh, what is that? What? Motivates? Yeah, motivates. Okay, okay so guys, uh, this is uh, our discussion uh, today with Anin. Anin, yeah. so thank you very much for joining yeah, and coming thank you very to much our programs. And I'm really sorry that I have any mistake like my grammar or <laughs> it's, everyone, it's really okay. It's really okay, right? Has their own mistake. Yes, of so course. Yes, because, really okay. our, because English is our second yep, language, yep. not our mother language. It's yep. really okay if our grammars or our pronunciation and each other's is uh, it's, um, it's really has some okay. mistakes. Okay. Yep. okay. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to all your friends and all your family. 
and thank you so much. See you on next video. Bye. Bye.